Good day to audience around the world. Today is Monday, February 21st, 2022, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan Wei Xin Shen Jiao, the sagely teachings of the heart at Weixin TV station. Starting off for today is Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's footprint. To give virtuous fellows and believers New Year greetings and blessings, Wei Xin Shen Jiao Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi made visits to branch temples around Taiwan. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi encouraged everyone to recite scriptures and sutras and keep their religious practices. Now we are looking at the New Year highlights. From February 5th, the founder of Wei Xin Shen Jiao, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, started the tour to make a New Year's visit around all the branch temples in Taiwan to give the New Year's greetings and blessings to all the faithful and Wei Xin fellows. For the first stop of the tour, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi came to Kaohsiung Branch Temple to help eliminate the epidemic in Kaohsiung. The Branch Temple host, Master Yuan Pu, and all the fellow cultivators welcomed Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi respectfully. After offering the incense to worship Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi elucidated Wei Xin Shen Jiao's religious providence of turning the Dharma will of cultivating ourselves for the benefit of the country and humanity. Zhang 是香港的做提供那么当下性本教的提供就是王产老祖在南岸疫情大学王产老祖大金孙里面的残疾非常的深厚那么老祖大金孙里面供奉一尊提供所以当时安奉提供的时候我请示老祖为什么提供在你的座下那里老祖笑一笑说我向哪位做提供我向哪位做提供那就是老祖一做提供所以老祖在台湾四十年四十年来台湾或是地球每当有疫情有灾难的时候老祖都交代我们所有维新贤士同修大家依法修行依教奉行必得平安我才体会说提供现在由王禅老祖来承担这个天命来转这个世界和平天下太平的华伦所以今天高德道堂同修你们是第一手天上的讯息祝福大家平安提供出神台湾平安富贵你这是一首圣歌在前年 
十二月二十二日，在新的一定大学八卦圣城，就提供出神白丸、平安富贵你，还接着为你搞啊啊！庚子年的武汉肺炎，来势汹汹，围堵台湾平安。好、啊，到了去年。也是来势汹汹，也呃平安了、啊，啊现在啊也是来势汹汹了、啊，老祖第一站出神就到高雄来，我相信会平安，会平安，会平安。Grandmaster Huiyuan Chan Shi headed from the Thousand Branch Temples all the way to the north to offer his New Year's greetings to everyone. He reminds those whose Chinese zodiac is in conflict with the annual guardian Tai Shui in Tiger Year to be more careful. Thus, they should do more charity and good things. Also, it's important to pray for blessings through the light offering ritual in order to pacify the Tai Shui of the year, or called An Tai Shui in Chinese. When Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi was in Tainan Branch Temple, Master Yuan Xin, the Branch Temple host, guided the painting exhibition for him. This year, Tainan Branch Temple displayed the paintings of Buddha's icons to pray for blessings during the Chinese New Year. These paintings demonstrated the compassion and wisdom of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Immersing yourself in the exhibition of these paintings would be a peaceful spiritual feast, especially during the Spring Festival. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi instructed fellow cultivators to recite the scriptures and sincerely invite Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, sages, and deities to radiantly descend to Tainan Branch Temple to pray for good weather, the country prospers, the people at peace, nature disasters never threatened, world peace, and creating the Buddha's pure land in the mundane world collectively. Afterwards, Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi went all the way to the north and then turned to the branch temples in the east to visit more than 40 branch temples in Taiwan. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi offered blessings to all the festival and fellow cultivators of each branch temple. He also reminded everyone to keep reciting scriptures and be more careful in the ear of tiger. Each branch temple host led everyone to make New Year's greetings to Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi. The festival and the fellow cultivators made offerings sincerely to support the Dharma propagation of turning the Dharma wheel of world peace collectively. Wei Xin report. Take a break. We will come back soon. The 15th day of the first lunar month is the Lantern Festival. In the history of Changjishan Weixin Shenjiao, the holiday represents stressing back the origin and expressing gratitude. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi took Weixin Virtuous Fellows to Tainan Guiren Da Shi Dian Ho to celebrate the birthday of Taiwan Zu Shi, the ancestral master of Taiwan. There, we piously express our gratitude to the Buddha. At the same time, it was a great opportunity for virtuous fellows to understand the religious journey of Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and the history of Wei Xin Shen Jiao. Let's watch another Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's footprint. On the 15th day of the first month of the Nula calendar, when Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi visits Guilin Da Shi Dian Ho, where he congratulates the birthday of Taiwan Zhu Shi and shows gratitude to Taiwan Zhu Shi and the Guan Yin Bodhisattva for their mercy to lead Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi out of suffering and further to achieve the unity of Wang Chan Lao Zhu. Thus, Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi is able to carry out the endowed mission to preach Dharma, help eliminate disasters, and ultimately turn the Dharma well for world peace. 
This year, Grandmaster Huan Yuanchan Shi paid a visit to Guilin Dashi Dian Ho as usual, where, led by Master Yang Wu Chai, host of Guilin Dashi Dian Ho, Grandmaster Huan Yuanchan Shi lit the incense and worshipped Buddhas with Master Yuan Xin, Master Yuan Li, and virtuous cultivators. Participating in the rites of the birthday celebration, Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi presented incense, flowers, fruits, vegetarian offerings, peach shaped buns, and noodles for longevity with Master Yuan Xin reading the appreciation statements of Taiwan Zhu Shi birthday celebration. Also, they prayed that our people can work on self cultivation and be dedicated to achieving world peace hand in hand. Master Yang appreciated Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, never forgot the origin, and made it attend Taiwan Zhu Shi birthday celebration every year. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi instructed the virtuous cultivators. Taiwan Zhu Shi is the world's first and the world's first and the world's first and the world's first and the 和平的希望，在咱现在所这个所在，办事等于台湾做事，这无法度用汉奸人的话来形容。首先，今日我抱着感恩。所需的救度之恩，啊，我已经给我四十岁，啊，这拢是台湾所需的代主代笔的恩德。我自从七十一年。二月十九一张病，开始直直拖，直直磨，磨到七十一年的六月十九，天皇观世音菩萨的圣诞，在咱大树顶遮，啊，仰仗着祖师的慈悲，啊，救度我。叫我念佛，搞跟他念南无阿弥陀佛就好啊。什么代志卖想？原来我唔知影，伊就是阿弥陀佛，看到世间的苦，世间真哩乱，所以在度假之房，出事在咱现在这个所在。啊，又讲老文，啊，伊点点啊修行，点点啊看世间的众生，了我伊众生的苦，所以是家己修行，啊，为众生解冤释厄，化解艰苦，释真经。人家明界、阴界的战争，讲起来是话头长。原来我无理解着祖师讲这话，不自从我四十年以来，一卡波一卡因的修行，拜完祖师，啊，伊时时教我启示。啊！叫我安怎做，安怎修，安怎带动有缘的人来念佛，来找到家己的本性，安尼时天下就太平啊！ Grandmaster Hu Yuanchan Shi emphasizing the above as something that is easy to say but hard to put into action. Yet following Taiwan Zhu Shi's instruction, we can transform and resolve grievances to prevent wars between the human world and the underworld by reciting Buddha's name.
Thus, for the past 40 years, Grandmaster Huayan Chan Shi has been seated up grand temples throughout Taiwan and urging all the people to recite Buddha's name. We should recite Buddha's name as many times as possible. By so doing, we pray for good weather for crops, prosperity of the country, and people at peace so as to attend world peace. As the epidemic spread all around, the battles between the human world and the underworld are getting even worse. To resolve the grievances, Taiwan Zhu Shi elucidated Grandmaster Huan Yun Chan Shi that reciting Buddha's name is the only solution. While the heaven warned the humanity while the epidemic, it's a pity that most of the people can see through it. That's why Taiwan Zhu Shi elucidated Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi the importance of reciting Buddha's name. Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi pointed out that Taiwan exceptionally remains peace in the world at such difficult times, since people in Taiwan have good comprehension and are dedicated to reciting Buddha's name. Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi added, We should stick to reciting Buddha's name for both human beings in Taiwan and all over the world. Weixin Report, Yan Chen Lu, Tainan. On the Lantern Festival, branch temples of Changji Shan Weixin Shenjiao held the annual light offering benediction ritual. We welcome our global friends and virtuous fellows to register for the lighting of the Lantern of Safety, which serves to safeguard your family, business, education, and health. Under the empowerment of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Medicine Buddha, the annual Tai Sui, Immortals and Bodhisattva, as one keeps praying, reciting scriptures, and implementing religious practice, it is guaranteed that a nice year will be ahead. Please contact each branch temple or look up the detailed information on our official website. After the Lunar New Year, branch temples of Weixin Shenjia all choose an auspicious day to enshrine the annual guardian and hold the benediction ritual of the light offering. All Weixin fellows make an offering to all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and bodhisattvas, praying for peace and fulfilling the vows that Weixin fellows made. Weixin Shenjia Holy Sanbao Si branch temple also held the benediction ritual of the light offering on the same day of the Great Jade Emperor's birthday. The benediction ritual was started by Master Yuan Heng and other chanters, chanting scriptures as making offerings to the annual guardian He e of the Ren Yin year. Weixin fellows came to the KS Sadagoba Bodhisattva Hall to enshrine the annual guardian together, hoping all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas eliminate disasters and give us blessings of peace and good fortune. January 15 of the lunar calendar is not only the Lantern Festival, but also is the birthday of the Heaven Official. Many branch temples of Weixin Shenjia choose the day to enshrine the annual guardian and hold the light offering benediction ritual. Branch temples hosts lead Weixin fellows to chant scriptures to make an offering to the annual guardian, light up the luminous light, praying for the health and good fortune to studies, business, and all things. Weixin report. Take a break. We will come back soon. To celebrate the birthday of the Great Jade Emperor on the ninth day of the first lunar month, branch temples of Weixin Shenjiao have been reciting Weixin Shenjiao scriptures and hosting silent Dharma rite, hoping that the sound of prayers may reach heaven and translate into the ears of the Great Jade Emperor Wang Chan Lao Zhu and the heavenly deities Buddha and the immortals. May their mercy resolve the disasters and calamities inflicted by the ignorance of mankind. May they bless the earth with harmony, peace, and prosperity. 
Now let's watch the comprehensive report of French temples celebrating the birthday of the Great Jade Emperor. 成吉思汗维新圣教 Branch Temples celebrated the birthday of the Jade Emperor at the period of January 9th of lunar calendar from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. midnight. Burned incense, flowers, fruits, delicacy, longevity peach bonds, shou tao, and birthday noodles for longevity shou mian were offered for birthday celebration with longevity. Before the period of January night of lunar calendar from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. midnight, we had chanters chanted the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu. When it arrived at 11 p.m., branch temple hosts led wishing virtues cultivators burned incense respectfully and stated the appreciation and safety statement of the Jade Emperor birthday celebration. It said. The decree from the Jade Emperor is shining and immeasurable. The grace of the Jade Emperor is huge and vast. People's self nature is hidden with big deeply. The majestic holy seed of the Jade Emperor stabilized the area. We appreciate blessings from the Jade Emperor to have good weather, prosperous country, peaceful and safe Taiwan. The Jade Emperor is having the highest role in the heaven. As the saying goes, there is always the ancestor of heaven three feet above your head watching you. The heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu stated, "In the realm of radiance that emanates from the heads of all living things, each venerates the most honored August Jade Emperor with a true heart." It also mentioned that the Jade Emperor is the heart, is the sage. Its virtue is wisdom. All the Wei Xingverse cultivators should make an offering with their bodies, speeches, and souls, and also cultivate their hearts, refine oral messages delivery, cultivate their natures, practice introspection and repentance, do good things, and benefit people. Wei Xingverse cultivators sincerely worshipped it to the Jade Emperor with longevity. And prayed for blessings bringing from the Jade Emperor with safety and peace, elimination of disasters and epidemics, and world peace. Wei Xing report. On the ninth day of the first lunar month, seven o'clock, the rite of transferring the Wei Xing Canon into scripture collection and birthday celebration of the Great Jade Emperor. Had been held at Thousand Buddha Zen Ho Headquarters, Xianfo Si Temple. After the completion of the ceremony, the scriptures would be distributed to each branch temple for canonization, serving as the protection media that overwatch the Dharma realm and the safety of the neighborhood. Let's watch the footage from Yilan Branch Temple. After the successful completion of the opening rite of Weixing Canon. Held at Changji San Wei Xin Shen Jiao Headquarters Xianfos Temple on January 9th of the lunar calendar, ten candles will climb the end bird back to branch temples across Taiwan, respectively, for the safety of Taiwan. Wei Xin Shen Jiao Yilan Branch Temple convened the overtures farewells on the 11th to host the rite of transferring the Wei Xin Canon into its collection. Each canon is labeled a serious number, a total of 127 canons, and 1,022 texts are transferred into the branch temples Weixing Canon collection accordingly. All scriptures of the Weixing Canon of Weixing Shenjiao Gui Gu culture are considered by a double dragon seal and the on symbol seal to exert their miraculous religious force. To resolve grievances and eliminate the disasters, the canon also serves the purpose of the safeguarding the Dharma realm between humans and heaven, putting an end to famine and wars, and realizing the heavenly mandate of world peace. Under the guidance of Master Yuan Zhao of Yilan Branch Temple. Virtuous farewells jointly prepare for the transfer by verifying old taxes and applying labels with serious numbers. 
amid the chanting of Amidaba. Prelates were made to Lao Zhu, heavenly saints, buddhas, and dignities, for the void of transferring the Weixing Canal into the collection to be completed smoothly. During the right, virtuous pharaohs handed down the taxes one by one manually to the set position in the collection cabinetry. The completion of the same right was celebrated by a manuless oppose among all virtuous pharaohs in immense bliss. Weixing Kano is the orthodox drama preached through Grand Master Wen Yuan Chan Shi and the founder of the religion Wang Chan Lao Zhu who integrated heaven and human as one. It has a long history and served as skyline for the cultivation of Weixing pharaohs. The taxes are respectively preserved at the Xianfu's temple headquarters and nine other branch temples. The public is welcome to visit those branch temples to access the canal and benefit from the Dharma, Weixing Report, Fan Ji Zhen, Ilan Branch Temple. Thank you for tuning in today. Please always keep the pandemic prevention code in mind. Wear your face masks, have your hands washed, and no touching the eyes, nose, and mouth, and keep your social distancing. May COVID-19 subside soon. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. on every Monday and 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. of the local time in Taiwan on every Tuesday on Weixin TV. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you. See you next week.